good morning from Bangkok. I just thought I would make this little video for you guys, sharing a little bit of my trip. I've just got here last night and had a great night's sleep at Cooper, Bangkok. It's a small hotel stroke hostel. Lovely place. I've stayed here before a few years ago with me and that's why I stayed here again because the hospitality is superb. I'm just about to tuck into my first Thai breakfast which I'm gonna keep simple. It's a bunch of nice Thai bananas. I'll take you around a little bit of what I can see in my first morning in Bangkok. We're on the roof of Cooper right now, looking over the city. A little bit of the skyline there. My bag little bag and my big bag is in my room which I'll grab in a second it's a lovely day I'm not sure how hot it really is but I'm assuming it's about 32 degrees I was gonna actually take the taxi to the airport but then I thought I'm on a little bit of an adventure so I'm going back on the train whoops <laughs> I'm going back on the train again and I'll try to record a little bit of the trip down there basically just down two roads and you won't be able to see much of the beauty of Bangkok but at least you'll be able to maybe get a little bit of a vibe of the city so yeah I better get ready I've got 10 minutes to to get downstairs and say goodbye to me. So guys, I'll see you on my way to the train station. BTS. Absolutely sweating. I really better get a shape on. So I'll see you when I'm just about to get on the train. I think I'll record going in, how to get your ticket and stuff, then see you on the other side. picked up my little train ticket cost me 37 baht which is about 40 50p or something along those lines so I'm just gonna head through the gates now and catch my first train to Siam then I'm gonna change trains at Siam and then uh, head to Patai that's probably <laughs> pronounced wrong and then get the airport link train down to Sukhumvi and I'll see you there, cheers!
now we've just got to get onto the last train which will be the railway link to the airport, the city link train, which should be just downstairs. So we're getting there. Uh, we're all a bit like sardines on the train, but all good fun. And uh, yeah, looking forward to getting to the airport now, a little bit of air conditioning and then catching a flight at five past two. It's about approaching quarter to 12 now. So yeah, pushing it a little bit tight, but domestic's not too bad. I've got 40 minutes before the flight to check my bag, which is right down there, you can see it. Yeah, so let's do this. Well, you would not believe the amount of stairs I've just had to go up to get here, but I made it. Actually just missed the chain when I got to the top of the last flight of stairs. The train was just leaving for the airport, so hopefully there'll be another one in about 10 to 20 minutes and then that should get me there in plenty of time. I'll arrive on the first floor, then just got to take it up to the fourth floor for domestic departures. So yeah, looking forward now. My last sight of Bangkok for probably a good few weeks. Just been speaking to that nice lady over there, making sure I was on the right spot. Everyone's very friendly just discussing how hot it is. <laughs> Even people in Bangkok struggle. So yeah, I'm gonna sign out for now, get my breath back, and then I'll catch up with you when I'm just about to get on the train and then at the airport. So the train is quite empty, so it's fantastic. Nice haircut. outside the airport. I'm just gonna find my guy who I was speaking to when I popped out before to have my coffee. 
we don't appear to be here now, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of other guys who are happy to help. I'm kind of looking forward now to get into my accommodation in Chiang Mai. I'm going to be here for at least three or four days and then right now I'm heading to go to Pai for a few days. My mate Joe Miller, big up, has recommended to go to Pai. It's kind of like the Nimbin of Chiang Mai. Nimbin's in Australia, it's kind of like a hippie, hippie vibe, kind of laid back scene with beautiful countryside, which would be really nice to hire a scooter hopefully and then have a little bit of an adventure there and stay in a little bungalow. I just need to try and sort out some kind of accommodation over the next few days and put my transport up there. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to go and have a look for the taxi driver who's going to help me get to my accommodation and I'll try and take a little clip on the way there depending on how my battery holds up. Apologies if I'm not looking into the camera as well with this front facing camera. I kind of just look at myself in the screen. So yeah, see you there. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my taxi now. I've met my guy. Would you like to say hello to hello. the people? Yeah, so I headed round to the guest house park where I stayed a few years ago to see Nina. But she's out having a massage at the moment, which I might do later on. There's quite a lot of spas in Chiang Mai. It's really a good place to hit base and relax. So I'm just gonna take a walk down these back alleys and I might pop there later and say hello because she's awesome. Yeah, one thing I wanted to say before, when you're traveling and it can be quite daunting, especially somewhere in Asia, if you've not been before. And for me to like, I must admit, you'll probably not see it in the video, but I made it to the airport with like an hour and 25 minutes before my flight. And then I was in the check-in line. And just as I was about to go through, all of the counters were closed. Uh, I could be lost here. Yeah, definitely lost. But hey, we'll try this way. So all the counters were closed and there was still a queue though. So it was basically just changing over, but I'd kind of left it a little bit late. In hindsight it was fine, but so anyway, I went to through security, which was quite quick. And then after that, I had to travel for a good 10 minute walk down to the the gate where I was, which is B17. The only thing is, all the B gates are on the other side of the airport, so you've got to take a bus. So I was kind of struggling a little bit. I am completely lost now. But anyway, we can have a walk. Um, so I was getting a bit lost. And it was approaching an hour before my flight and I wasn't sure the situation with the buses. So anyway, I got down there into the lounge where you sit to get your bus. And fortunately I was on time and I got actually on the plane a good 40 minutes before we had to go. But as I was saying, it can be quite stressful and especially with dogs, wild dogs walking around the streets. <laughs> um, but yeah, the best thing to do is and hopefully I'll hear this advice if you're a bit stressed out and stuff and uh, you don't know where you are or where to go or what to do. It's just try to put a smile on your face and just ask because people are very friendly and they'll do the best to help you. It's warm. The taxi driver, Mr. Bright, was saying it's 37 degrees. It doesn't actually feel mental hot. The humidity here is not half as bad as it was in Bangkok. Hey mate, it's not half as bad as in Bangkok. Those guys just waved but I've got the front facing camera on. Wow, so as you can see I found myself a street food street in Chiang Mai so I'm gonna indulge in a little bit of fresh fruit, some papaya, I love papaya, uh, some mango, maybe some hot food as well, maybe some pad thai, or some rice. Hey. 
so yeah I'm gonna shut this video off now and enjoy the rest of my night I'm gonna sign out if you don't see any videos from me for a few days I'm getting my stuff together I'm gonna enjoy as much as I can of this great city and I'll try to get some pictures up at some point signing out Grace yeah so I've just had my first Thai massage I feel so relaxed right now I opted for the two hour full time massage which included a foot massage full body and these kind of like not hot coals but it was kind of a fabric that was filled with with herbs some kind of healing herbs and it appeared like they were dipped in like boiling hot water and then they put those on different areas of your skin of your body and yeah like I must admit at parts where I had to kind of brace myself because it was very intense and I have noticed this morning especially when I woke up I had a lot of knots especially in the top of my back and yeah I was feeling a little bit rough to be honest I struggled a little bit getting to sleep last night it was my first night in Chiang Mai and it was such an eventful day yesterday I think I was just struggling to wind down and I really got into my editing of the journey yesterday yeah I must have spent actually three hours at least just going through the clips and stuff there was I took quite a lot more than what I thought I did actually so it's surprising when you work with video and then you know you can have long pieces of say the drive with on the taxi or or shots going through the airport and stuff and obviously nobody wants to be just watching me walk walk around and actually I'm just gonna chill here for a second I'm in a back alley but Sirwan's just there and my place is just down there and I'm just gonna pop in to see Nina actually I saw her again for the first time first time today because I didn't get a chance to see her yesterday I just went back to the hostel and wanted to kick back and obviously just do a little bit of editing work and then start afresh today so I didn't get a chance to see her yesterday so to be honest I woke up quite late I got up about 10 but then I stayed in bed till about half 12 which I didn't want to do really I wanted to get the day going kick start it but after yesterday with all the journey and I think took more out of me than what I thought it did I had so much energy yesterday I was on a real buzz and I really struggled to get to sleep last night I was getting a bit stressed with sorting this video out and getting it uploaded to Facebook and to be honest right now uh, the following day at seven o'clock I started uploading it at two o'clock last night and it's still not up there so I'm not sure if it worked I did a quick search on on Google and my accounts verified and stuff for YouTube so I tried that as well but it said because it's over 15 minutes there's a problem but I've uploaded videos over that before maybe it's just the mobile maybe it's just the mobile app or something like that but I'll probably get that sorted maybe tonight if I get a chance but I'm not gonna stress about it I'll get it up at some point and this this video here will this little clip of my walk back from my nice relaxing Thai massage will be probably I'll probably squeeze it in the middle somewhere because I know at one point I think I said I didn't get a chance for to go for a massage yesterday so I've done it today so so yeah anyway back to Nina yeah so I went in there and and I really wanted uh, to see it today and I got a call off her husband uh, last night on Facebook Andy I've never actually met Andy but we've messaged each other over the last couple of years you know because um, I had such a good time here last time it's my first real time here in Thailand and staying with Nina Siriram was like my first real stop off and yeah she really took me under her wing and and uh, she was so helpful and so kind, you know, like real, oh mate, 
such a such a nice person. But yeah, so we <laughs> I went over to the reception part when I went into Siri One and I was actually really knackered. Actually, this is the second take of this video, so I'm not sure if I'm repeating things. I was speaking for like 10 minutes and then realized I'd not even pressed the bloody play button. Oh God, nightmare. Uh, so I go over and I see she's there behind the desk. And I pop over and I say, oh, hello. And she looks and she's like, oh, hi, can I help? <laughs> so I just didn't say anything. <laughs> And then a couple of seconds it twigged and she was like, ah. Oh. And so she got up and had a nice hug and stuff. And there's a couple of guys from England who'd just come back from, I think, a half day elephant sanctuary. And then they were going bungee jumping. And so we just had a little chat with them. And then, and then yeah, she gave me a free ice cream and I sat in the courtyard. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth to the elephant sanctuary. Don't worry, I won't be riding any of uh, the elephants. Uh, they're all treated really well and cared for at the sanctuaries. And there's a few different tours. And I was speaking to the English guys who just come back and they did a half, half day tour um, using one of the companies. So I've chose the same as them, but I'm going to do the full day because I've got the time and I feel like half day will be really rushed. I think the half day you set off at half six and then you're back in Chiang Mai by half 11 and it's a good hour and a half drive south of here. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the full day, which um, a little bit better as well because I can sleep in a little bit. So that starts at eight o'clock in the morning. I get picked up at my hostel as well, which is pretty cool and then that gets me back here in Chiang Mai about 5, 5.30 or so. So that'd be awesome. So I sat down and stuff and, and then Nina came over when she's dealt with a few other things and yeah she was just like really sweet and stuff and she shared she shared a lot of her of her history like family and personal things and yeah she gave me some really great advice and yeah she's I just yeah man really really touching like and yeah she's a really good friend and she's gonna take me to the Sunday night market so hopefully I'll get a couple of pictures there and it'll be really nice to go down with her and have a bite to eat and stuff I'm not sure if I mentioned but yeah Andy her husband I've not met him but he gave me a call last night on on Facebook and just asking how my journey was and how I'm doing and the Nina had already got my mangoes on board yeah, just really sweet guy and uh, it was really nice to speak to him for the first time. We've been in touch for the last couple of years, but to actually speak on the phone was really nice for him to give me a ring and really appreciated that. Uh, yeah, so had a bit of a lazy day today, I guess you could say. And tonight, um, I'm going to head out tonight. I'm going to go for a walk somewhere. I'll probably not record though tonight. And um, I'll probably try to... If this ain't gonna upload on Facebook, what I'm gonna do is try to export it into iMovie on the Mac. Uh, I was doing a little bit of research this morning. Uh, it could be tricky though, but I think you can use USB cable, but um, I had a little go this morning, but I couldn't do it. Um, so I might have to do it through iCloud or AirDrop, Dropbox, something like that. And because I think once you've done that, you can, you can just continue with the editing process on the, I'll just have to get out of the way, there's a car here. I'll just have to... I'm so, such a blabber, sorry. Yeah, I wanna get that sorted, have a bite to eat, and yeah, try to get an early night tonight. 
as I say, this massage that I've just been to now is amazing, man. And yeah, I'll be taking quite a few of those while I'm here, especially in Chiang Mai. It's, you know, the ladies and this one that I went to was recommended by Nina. It's where she goes, you know, they're all like really professional and stuff. And yeah, I, f I feel like my back is amazing and so many like cracks were happening and, and stuff. But yeah, it was lovely, lovely. Definitely recommend that if you, if any of you guys are coming over in Thailand. It's nice that it's a bit cool now. I've not really eaten much today, so I'm gonna go see Nina now and have some mango and get some nice rice or something in the evening nice rice dish try to find a nice restaurant and relax for the night love you guys uh, yeah I just want to big up my my sister Anne Marie my mum my dad love you guys and big kiss to Isabel and William I know my sister was saying that they love my last video so this, this one's for you guys love you